Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks to Zoom, we were able to connect across the miles and bring our honoree, Dr. Terrence James Roberts to Little Rock from Marietta, Georgia from the comfort of his home. Before the official induction of our president, I would just like to share some brief, brief highlights of the life of Dr. Roberts with you. At the age of 16, Terrence James Roberts captured the attention of the world when he, along with eight African-American young people, faced hostility, brutality, dehumanization, and other acts of oppression to desegregate Central High School, referred to as the crisis of 57. And this was 64 years ago and the fight continues. He along with his peers demonstrated resilience in the face of trauma. Seeds were planted long before 1957 for this courageous venture. Young Roberts was prepared by his parents his community and his black teachers. Particularly his first grade teacher who challenged her students to become executives in charge of their own education. Young Roberts took these words to heart and they have served as his North Star throughout life. Dr. Roberts received the PhD in psychology from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale and currently is the CEO of Terrence Roberts Consultant. He has served in various positions in the academy as faculty member, assistant dean, co-chair of a master's program in psychology, as well as director of a mental health hospital and a mental health center. Dr. Roberts is certainly an advocate for social justice, equality and equity, a civil rights icon, recipient of the Congressional Gold Medal during Clinton's administration, awarded the NAACP's prestigious uh, Spingard Medal, as well as numerous other awards. In 2014, I am pleased to say that Dr. Roberts was the recipient of the Civil Rights Award as an icon for the advancement of humanitarian causes and social justice by the Arkansas Psychological Association. Dr. Kyla Holmes, our vice president, made the presentation. Many of you present during this meeting today were in attendance. And it was my lot to be president of the Arkansas Psychological Association during that year. Dr. Roberts is the author of Lessons from Little Rock and Simple Not Easy, Reflections on Community, Social Responsibility and Tolerance. In the midst of such prestigious awards and recognitions, Dr. Roberts has never forgotten Arkansas and African-Americans in the psychology community. When AABPP has called on Dr. Roberts, the response has always been yes. He has always been fully and completely supportive from speaking to a group of students at Philander Smith College to presenting at a conference on the cause of racism accepting the invitation to be the keynote speaker February 2020 during the conference on contributions of African-American psychologists from Arkansas to currently working on a chapter for the book project that we will hopefully launch within the next year. Dr. Roberts has never turned us down. Thank you, Dr. Roberts, for your generosity to psychologists here in Arkansas. For you have been a strong role model for us, a supporter of African-American psychologists, not only in Arkansas, 
but especially to this organization. It is therefore with great esteem that we make this induction to you, Dr. Roberts. And now President Carrie Crawford will come forth. Okay, can you put that, the certificate on screen, Kyla, for me, please? So everyone can see it. Okay. One second. You know, Dr. Roberts, I really feel honored just to have the opportunity to know you as an individual and with all the accolades and things that you've done in your life, just knowing and understanding that you have a sincere hope and desire to improve the lives of others and, and share your life with other people. And I think we've all benefited greatly from all the activities that we've been allowed to attend in your presence. And it's my honor to give you the certificate of honorary membership. Uh, it basically says certificate of honorary membership that certifies and hereby certifies that Dr. Terrence J. Roberts is granted honorary membership for his contributions to the field of psychology and service to the Arkansas Association of Black Psychology Professionals. Uh, we have Carrie W. Crawford, president, and um, Ms. Erica Mays as being our secretary. It's been an honor, you know, doing one of the greatest moments of my life. I just still feel so privileged to have the opportunity to be surrounded by such a great host of uh, African-American mental health professionals that's enriched my lives. And I know it's continuing to enrich not, enrich not only my lives, but the lives of others. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are quite welcome. And thank you for those very gracious words. And thanks for all of you for being in support of my induction as an honorary member. I feel a strong connection to Little Rock, Arkansas. And that flies in the face of my general persona, which is not to define myself by geography. Uh, I saw people or hear people all the time saying about how they are wedded to their birthplace. Uh, I am not essentially, but I am wedded to this group. And that's a very different kettle of fish altogether. I know what important work is being done by all of you. And because there is such a great need and to be a part of this organization will not only allow me to sit in the background and watch as you do all the work that you're called upon to do, but to be in your presence and to soak up some of the ambiance, that is an amazing thing because uh, no one of us can make it alone in the world. You need a group, a posse, people who support you, people you can count on. And that's how I see this group. And I am very, very pleased to, to be an honorary member and I look forward to participating in any way that I can. Thank you very much. It is a great honor. Absolutely. Uh, any more comments, Dr. Roberts? You want to have a few quick comments to give Dr. Roberts before we move on with our meeting? Yes, yes. Uh, I was thinking as we were talking uh, about some of the things that came up in terms of how people have dedicated their lives to doing this kind of work. Yesterday, I was involved in a Zoom session with a group of policemen in, and, and it's, it's important to say policemen, there were no women in there, it's somewhat typical of these uh, police units. <clears throat> they have token women here and there. I don't think they've really pledged themselves to be the kind of place that welcomes women as officers. That's just my personal thought on it. But at any rate, uh, one question came up as they were, we were talking about my involvement in Little Rock and they wanted to know how on earth could anybody choose to put themselves in harm's way when it wasn't uh, at all beneficial to oneself? A very true statement of the selfish point of view that you see abundant in this world. And I try to convince them of the efficacy of thinking beyond self, to think about others, to be willing to be an image bearer for truth, to give credence, to a notion that we only exist because of others around us. And that's very true because we all enter the universe hooked up via an umbilical without which we would perish. And at the moment that umbilical is snipped, it's our task to find out other ways of connecting so that we're not abandoned out there on our own, so to speak. But I leave you with that thought and perhaps one lasting thing and that has to do with the power of learning 
you know, uh, Pat mentioned earlier about my first great experience, that truly was life uh, changing for me to be the person in charge of learning. And I felt early on that there was such a significant task. I had to find out how many of these options in the universe I could become aware of before my departure date. So I'm still here, so I'm still working on it. But in any case, I give you that same charge, get involved in the learning process so intently that you're always prepared to answer those who question your right to be who you are. I think, thank you very much again for this honor. And I look forward to talking to all of you later. Take care. How about sir, thank you. Absolutely. Ooh.